large number of armed suspects approach with caution. Uh -huh. The John Wick Heists, not to be confused with the John Wick Weapon Pack, contains two heists, one loud and one stealth, which are in Brooklyn, New York. The first heist, Brooklyn 10 to 10, is a loud only heist where a guy named Sharon is ambushed and you must save his black bar and escort him to safety. Also there is a briefcase you must secure. The second heist, named Yacht Heist, is a stealth only heist which takes place on the yacht of some rich guy. It is also the place where that wanker McKendrick is holding his fundraiser party. The objective? Steal illegal re-election funds that are scattered around the ship. Then, after finding all the money, you must steal a hard drive. And that's it. The heists, in my opinion, aren't too bad, especially the boat one. They are pretty straightforward, and not too difficult to understand. The heists did have some optimization issues on release, but Overkill recently released a patch which supposedly optimised the levels. I personally think that the heists were a bit, and I mean a bit, smoothed the play on and stuttered less. But that's it really. I didn't notice much of a frame rate increase, however, if you have a pretty average system, let's say an i5 processor and a GTX 900 series card, you should be getting roughly between 50 to 80 FPS when things get serious. At least that's what I got. I personally run an i5 4460 and a GTX 960. The art heist runs fairly smooth with only, with only some frame drops at the very start of the heist, so you shouldn't be having any issues there either. There is also a new weapon you get with this DLC, the Contractor 308. A semi-auto sniper rifle, which is pretty much a reskin of the Lieben Saga, with high rate of fire and faster reload speed. Next, the hook. A new melee weapon that looks like a hook, swings like a hook, and kills like a fucking toothbrush, which some British guy made in prison. Also, there are four new hats, materials, and patterns, which I doubt anybody will use. So, in conclusion, should you buy the John Wick heists? Well, if you are a fan of the John Wick franchise, sure. But is it worth your money otherwise? Not really. The DLC is pretty much a promotion for the new John Wick movie, so unless you're planning to see it, don't bother with the DLC. Save your money for the John Wick weapon pack instead, which actually has a pretty good sniper rifle and a ton of weapon mods that are just waiting to be used. Plus it's cheaper.